So, um, how did Wally get into rap? Well, I wrote poetry when I was 16, uh, 14, 15, 16, I used to write poems. Just jot them down, didn't make sense. I used to store them all in, the bo in my little books. And then one night we were having a few drinks with a few mates and had a poem written about uh, certain in my, one of my exes or something happened in work or something. And an instrumental came on and it just happened that the poem fitted nicely in with, it, with the beat. And so we all laughed about it and we joked about it. And then they said, hey, look, something's funny. You know, laughter grabbed their, their attention. So I said, listen, I might, might focus on that. So I wrote a few funny songs or funny poems at the time and they all fitted in with the rap. <coughs> And then over a few years, you know, I started getting more serious. I said, look, you know, I have issues, I have problems like we all do. Paper won't refuse ink. And start putting them down. And then I started venturing into the music industry. Going up on a concrete street. Second hand clothes, dressing us up neat. Kicking and throwing every cannon we meet At a passing fleet or a passing jeep Living every day, yeah, on empty pockets Hoping that my birthday will come like a rocket Hoping that I get my broken bike a new sprocket Or maybe on the chance, a new lock to lock it So, got involved with the mu music uh, studio Red Lake Studio in Port Leash That's where I started out um, I was watching Gary doing his stuff on, uh, on the recording And then I just took in what I found uh, easy to absorb and then uh, we kind of went to Rome Ace. Then I uh, got Ableton myself and started working on it. And now I just do most of my stuff at home. My stuff, my recordings are putting out now, they're raw. You will find faults in them. But the lyrics, everything's from the heart. You know, I put everything into it. It's my own stuff. Um, I'm not out there to please anyone, only my own reflection and what, what I see back or what I hear back. So, uh, Marty Robbins, Slim Whitman, Ray Orbison. Uh, Marty Robbins really was his storytelling. That grabbed me. I was 11 or 12, used to sit there on Sunday mornings, listen to him, one about country, uh, sold or uh, cowboys and stuff like that, and his own uh, personal issues. So he's storytelling really, that, that's what triggered it with me. Slim Whitman as well, and then, so I harnessed that, storytelling, brought it on to where I am today, and obviously uh, the rap that you hear, uh, hopefully people like it, it, seem, it seems to be going down well. So um, yeah, that's my influence and how rap came about. The passing of the trains on their way, way line Would wake us every morning, 7.30 on time All rise and shine, to be in class at night Wiping sleep from our eyes as we tied school ties Praying every day that there wouldn't be rain Just to play games on the back way lanes Spraying our names on the window pane That was left in the drain with a broken frame Times of wishing I was able to go Hoping on a yes, but the answer was no Please dad, no, but I wanna go, no You never let me go anywhere, yes so Going on to the song writing process What inspires me to write songs I, you know, it's hard for me to, uh, to pinpoint that um, so, You know, a few years ago I pulled away from uh, the music scene Because the music I had, I, don't, I hadn't got much songs I had five, ten songs max I was starting out um, I lost interest in, you know, the vibe in them uh, So, went stagnant for a while and then what fueled me then to write more was, I suppose, guilt. M myself, you know, saying, look, come on, get back out onto the road, get back doing this, get back doing that. But then depression grabbed me. So self-anger, self-me trying to justify getting back out, uh, life experiences. Obviously people, the doubters, the lads hiding behind the keyboard saying he's this, he's that in a negative way. You know, what I'll say to them is thanks very much. You're subconsciously, you're helping me achieve stuff even greater than I've you know, set the bar. So in the past five years, I've, when the, I've set in, uh, in home. I wanted to do uh, a full album myself. 10 songs was my limit. And now I've recorded 40 songs at home on my laptop. Nice little humble setting, laptop, microphone, audible or audio interface, and a mind full of madness, which I'm ready to get back out and show this nation what, what he's all about and where he's been. So. Let's not uh, sugarcoat the, the topic. Mental health, there's a stigma still in around Ireland and most of the people going out there genuinely doing good and speaking about mental health are being slated by those uh, in around their community. I'll speak for myself. Um, when I came out first in my documentary, most of the town here, in fairness to them, they were a marvellous support. But then there was a little tight-knit community that would mock and say, what the F.C. doing? Like, look at this attention-seeking. 
And that stigma is still there where lads genuinely hate other lads talking about their problems until it comes knocking on their own door. So that's the grey area. With me, I found uh, music, you know, channeled in there. Most of mental health is, you know, their thoughts manifested, their emotions that we create. With me, a blank piece of paper and a mindful of thoughts is my therapy. Get it out there and see what comes back. And then when it's set into a song, then the frequency start to happen. The beats come about. You could have a nice high beat, oh, oh, oh. or you could have the, the normal. <coughs> you could put anything in between there, and then add in your symphony, strings, guitars, whatever. So that's my way of coping with mental health. Um. But she had to wonder what became a person to know When I sat in my room after breaking the law He was right there beside me, right through it all When I lost all pride, he would catch my falls Oh, as we grow, time will show Dead or life is wasted Go, live your life Time goes by, time Music to me is, is part of mental health to me, it's part of the way I cope, other people have other avenues, but uh, to me mental health is, you know, it's, it's important to me. I didn't know it at the time, back then, I ignored it, but now it's, it's even more important, you know, so you should look after it. Yeah, so, like, the old stuff, like, so now they know me, like, when I shut off Main Street, that was a different, different Wally, a, young, a younger Wally, I suppose, um, I was only getting into the rap scene, it was new to me, I was nervous, it was chance of me arm really on some of them but now six seven years later I've matured in my writing um, I've over 40 songs written and what I'd love to happen now is for me to get a band together fresh new raw band is ready to get out there and rock the place so put the shout out there if anyone's interested uh, even vocals uh, give me a shout or contact the boys here on Dama TV oh man I go into a, a weird mindset writing songs um, I see myself, this is how mad I go into it, this is, this is the truth. I see three parts of me writing a song. Me as Kieran, Wally, and then myself looking at myself on stage. So there's three character process I see myself doing it. Like, you know, what would I see myself on stage looking at me if I didn't know me? Saying, is it a good song? And then me on the stage performing the song. How am I going to get the crowd going? Uh, what's my lyrics? Are they going to relate to them? What's my tone going to be? What's the energy going to be? So I get sucked into it when you're writing the song. You know, to me, some songs are stressful. You know, you're bettering yourself. You know, contradicting yourself, really. Finding that little equilibrium there where is, is it working? Are people going to like it? And then, you know, lately I've just stepped back and say, so what if they don't? As long as I like it, that's the main thing. But obviously, the outcome I would like for, you know, the listeners to, uh, to like it too. Writing songs, if anyone's out there writing songs or venturing into the rap, there's one advice I can give you. Do not show a song in process or in progress to anyone don't let anyone hear it just finish the song and when you're happy with it then let it out if that song's not if you I mean if it's half finished and you show it to someone and you're happy with that up to then someone could say something to you say no i know i think you should do that and then that's everything gone it's gone off in a different direction stay true to yourself allow yourself to make mistakes and be prepared to be criticized both constructively and destructively because that's what you're venturing into I'm hardened to all that now. People like my music, most people don't. It is what it is. So, to those out there who have followed me and are, who are getting into my music, I salute you. I thank you for your support. And uh, let's get the show back on the road. Hello, as we grow, time will show. Dead or life is wasted. Go, leave. Yeah.